Welcome in everybody from YouTube. In today's video, we're gonna be going over salary cap tips. As you can see, my team is under the 10,000 by 1100. I definitely could have a better team. I definitely could change out one of these two guys and put in Vince Carter or somebody that's an amethyst or like another Ruby, but I want the best budget team I can get that is cheap and does the job I need it to do better than these amethyst and Ruby cards. A lot of people have been running, right? So if we look at the people I do not have in, as all my people, I do have some good cards. I have Howard, Vince, AD, KD, Steph, and a bunch of other Ruby cards that I'm not currently using, probably won't use again. I did just take Kyrie out. I just got Steve Blake, but we will be going over some tips that I think will help you in salary cap to win more games and to get a better roster that you can win more games with. So let's get into it. Okay, to start off, the first tip is you need to get gems of the game cards. They're the best cards I think you should get for on a budget. And the number one card you should look after is Glenn Davis and Derek Favors. I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two cards versus Anthony Davis, who's an Amethyst card, who costs around 2,000 salary points to use versus 600 and 800 from these two cards. As you can see, Glenn Davis is the best card out of these three. He can shoot, he can defend, he has 97 strength, and he has 78 speed. Derek Favors is the next best option. His jump shot is really good. He only has a 66-3, which I don't have a problem with hitting in the corner. Or on a pick and pop play, he does have 78 speed as well. Good rebounding, great interior defense as well. And the badges that Glenn Davis and Derek Favors get as a Sapphire in this game is really good. So that's why I would recommend getting gems of the game cards. Speaking on gems of the game card, which are my favorite cards in the game right now to get for a budget. The second tip is to get cards that have badges, right? You want to have cards that have at least... For me personally, I go for 10 plus badges for me to want to get you as a card. Like I know Alex English only has eight, but you get two more cards to upgrade, which puts you at 10. So if that's how you want to do it, then whatever floats your boat. But you don't want to get suckered into these cards that only have five badges like this Cook card or that are under 10. Because then what's the point of getting them to only upgrade them to get seven badges or whatever? Or this Mike D'Antoni to get eight badges versus my Gary Harris card, which came out to. 14 badges already or Derek Favors, which has 17 and I haven't upgraded the badges yet to add two more. You want to get as many cards as possible with 10 plus badges. So your lineup will have badges. So all you have to do is just upgrade them to gold if they're not at gold. So your lineup could compete with these rubies, sapphires, amethyst or whatever that have 10 plus badges. So you can hold your own, I guess, these cards in online play. Okay, this next part isn't really a tip, just more as helpful information. I have made a list of some of the gems of the game cards I have been looking to get, or I have currently have on my roster right now, that I will have in the description showing you how much I got them for, what the price range is you should be looking for, and how much they cost to have on your salary team. So that way you know if you're able to make them fit for your team or not. So this is just to help you out with your salary cap and not have to look through the auction house every day like I do for these cards to find your hidden gem like I have. Okay, the next tip I will give you is to have a good 10-man roster, right? As you look at my team, I do have 10 people on my roster that I will play throughout the entirety of salary cap. I do have Rudy Gobert as my 11th option just in case I need more rebounding and I need to move Derek Favors or Glenn Davis to power forward and move my power forwards down to small forward and plug in Rudy Gobert. But you want a 10 man roster because you have to play four minute quarter for the first half and the second half you have to score 25 points from whichever team is winning to end the game, right? So it could take a minute depending on how good is the team you're playing is. So you want to have a team that has the stamina to, to compete and you don't want to have a 10 man roster like this where you're only playing your five guys the whole game and your bench is a bunch of gold players. Because you won't be able to hit open shots, you won't be able to make contested layups, you won't be able to hit middies. So down the stretch of the game, the game will start to look sluggish if you're only running five people. So you want to have a good bench, or a bench that you feel confident in, that you can withstand for a couple minutes to let your starters rest, is what I would say to help you win. Okay, the next tip is you need to be running plays, right? I still use the O3 Mavs playbook, look at my last video. If you want to know the plays I use in the Mavs playbook. But anyways, a lot of people in my team are just going to off ball with their center, their power forward, their small forward, whoever. 
So a way to counter that is to run plays, so that way they have to off ball off you to try to stop the play. And if that happens, you get a little open second to drive to the paint, get a pick and roll three, whatever it may be. You just want to keep it fresh so you're just not running the same thing over and over again. So your offense doesn't get stale and you're making them think about, oh, do I want to off ball the center or do I want to play man to man defense to try to stop them, whatever it may be, just so it gives you the best chance of winning the game and making your opponent get fatigued and angry at you. Okay, to touch on that tip about running plays, the next tip that's very important is you want to have a shooting big, right? Glenn Davis is my starting center. You see he has an 80 three-point shot, and then Derek Favors as a 66 or whatever it is. But both of these cards, I can hit open threes consistently, and you want to have it. You want to have bigs that can shoot the shoot the ball, or power forwards that can shoot the ball as well, because a lot of people are going to off ball. And if you are like somebody that likes to five out or whatever to counteract the off balling, if you're big or power forward cannot shoot, like if you run Giannis or somebody that can't shoot, it makes off balling for the people you're playing against a lot easier. They don't have to worry about you throwing it to the corner to your big if he can't shoot. So if everybody on your team can shoot, that makes your team a lot deadlier and harder to defend. So they have to work a lot harder if they're going to off ball. And this especially helps, especially if you don't want to run plays and you just want to five out, whatever, pick and roll, like crazy the whole game. You need to have everybody that can shoot so you can pick and pop, switch it up, do things like that so your team isn't just stagnant on four people can shoot or three people can shoot. Everybody needs to be a deadly shot from behind the arc is my caveat on how I think you should build your team. Obviously, you don't have to listen to me. You can do whatever you want. If you're winning, you're winning. Okay, I think those are all the tips right now I have. For you for my team salary cap mode i will be trying to update the salary cap thing weekly when more gems of the game cards are getting dropped in packs or whatnot and the market is just more flooded with better cards to look at i look forward to hopefully dropping weekly updates on these cards to help you all out in salary cap or just budget friendly cards if that's what you're interested in i hope you have a great time with 2k25 if you did stick around to the end of the video I do thank you. The goal is to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. That's what we're going to be grinding for in 2K as of now. Have a great day. Glad to be back. Let's go.